Hello, welcome to Board Game TV. Hope you're having some great holidays. And we're back on the third day of Christmas and we're playing Arkham Horror. And we're going to be using the Dunwich expansion. Just the, just the board, nothing else. And um, we have the Bureau of Investigation as a institution. And we're playing against a Both. Okay, so you see he's minus four magical resistance. A buff has no human worshippers. Return all cultists to the box at the start of the game. Place the three child of a both monsters on this sheet. Children of a both that are defeated return to this sheet. They can never be claimed as trophies. Alright, and these are what they look like right here. And they're physical immunity, overwhelming too. Before you make a combat check against a child of a both, you must discard one clue token or automatically fail. These guys ain't no joke. While a boss stirs in a slumber, each time a monster surge occurs, place a random child of a boss on the surging gate. If all three children of a boss are already on the board, raise the terror level by two and add one doom token to the doom track. So, mm. in our Bureau of Invest Investigation here, when the Bureau of Investigation is in the institution, at the start of the game, place the agent tokens next to the institution sheet. And, uh, those are the tokens. Okay, so for each monster token, compare the monster's toughness to the number of agent tokens in the same area. If the monster's toughness is equal or greater than the number of agent tokens, return one agent token from that area to the pool of agent tokens next to the sheet. If the monster toughness is less than the number of agent tokens, return one agent token to the pool of agent tokens next to the sheet, then return the monster to the monster cup. Okay. At any point during his movement, and if an investigator is in the street area, he may place one agent token in his street area for each two clue tokens he spends. Okay. Note that monsters ignore agent tokens when moving. So that can come in handy. They can help you clear monsters on the board. You have to spend clues for it, but if some games where you have an overabundance of clues, you know, maybe... Uh, protective custody. When a player is instructed to return an ally card to the box, he may instead place the card next to any of the expansion game boards. If an ally card is already next to the chosen expansion game board, that card is returned to the box and the new one takes its place. If an investigator is in a location on one of the expansion game boards, he may spend five clue tokens to gain the ally card that has been placed next to that expansion board. So it's a way of protecting allies from dying. Okay. So we have our first gate. Here's at Hibbs Roadhouse. And we have a fire vampire on there. And let's take a look at our investigators. <clears throat> our first one here is going to be Ursula Downs. And those are stats. Uh, home player's choice. I just put her right here in the middle of Rivertown. She starts with four clue tokens and one dollar. She came with a makeup kit, uh, a lantern, the Gladius of Carcosa, which is a pretty decent magical weapon. A sneak for skill. And you may reroll all dice showing the result of one. Book of the Believer. Discard this card and spend two movement points to make a lore minus two check. If you fail, gain one clue token. If you succeed, draw a spell and gain a clue token. Alright, and then we have Trish Scarborough. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me do the thing. Ursula may have an encounter at a location even after using a location ability that would normally be taken instead. After reading her Arkham encounter, but before making any dice rolls, Ursula may spend one clue token to cancel the encounter entirely. So, that's pretty good. Trish, she starts at the newspaper. Four dollars, two clue tokens. She comes with a lucky cigarette case. Um, here we go. Food. She got a magnifying glass. True magic. Exhaust and spend one movement point to make a lore minus one check. If you pass, gain one clue token and lose one sanity. The Xanthru tablets. Exhaust and spend two movement to make a lore minus two check. If you pass, draw five spells. Choose one to keep and place the rest on the top or bottom of the spell deck. Then discard the Xanthru tablets. If you fail, lose one sanity. And she has a library use. When you make any lore check, Add plus one to each die you roll for purpose of checking. 
Okay, she her focus is different. Uh, she doesn't spin focused. Instead, at the start of each upkeep phase, move all her sliders all the way to the left. She may then slift her sliders to the right a total of five shifts, and I've done that. That's one, two, three, four. What? That was right. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can move it one more time. Five. All right. And Trish may spend one sanity or one stamina for an extra shift to the right when adjusting her skill. She may do this up to three times per turn. Then we have Tommy Muldoon. He has two dollars, two clue tokens. He came with a rifle, a map of Arkham, an elephant gun. I think I'm probably going to try to give that to Trish. Because um, he's got weapons out the butt. <clears throat> she doesn't. He gets a plus one will, and you can reroll uh, all dice showing your one. The petrifying solution, jeez, and the kerosene, so he really drew some stuff here. Uh, before Mythos card is drawn, Tommy may cause one or more monsters that are adjacent to his location to move to his location regardless of their normal movement. And Tommy may not be arrested. In addition, it only costs him one gate trophy or five toughness worth of monster trophies to become the deputy of Arkham. All right, I may decide to do that. And this gives him an extra movement point. So those are our heroes. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and Ursula is gonna be the first player. And I think with Ursula, I may actually, she can move four. So I'm gonna move her one to the black cave and then I'm going to spin a movement point and make a lore minus two check now our lore is three and I failed uh, so I just gained a clue token so that's all I get but she gains a clue token so let's give her another clue token okay Trish she's at the newspaper she has two clue tokens Um, let's see, she has a movement of three. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going up here to Independent Square. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, I'll keep that. Okay, Tommy. He has two clue tokens as well. And, um, I want to send him, I want him to give Trish that gun. So I think, I think what I'm going to do is he's going to move one, two, three. He's going to come up with Trish and he's going to give her the elephant gun. And um, the kerosene, as a matter of fact. It's going to give her those two weapons. And then I think Tommy is going to take the food. Okay. Just kind of make it even. Okay. So Ursula is at the Black Cave. So you are attacked by a shadowy being, but a large man leaps out of the darkness and dries it off. He introduces himself as Ton Mountain Murphy. Make a luck minus two check. I got it. Uh, if you pass, he take him as an ally. Okay, I will. Okay, Tom has a uh, plus two fight, and you take no stamina loss from the overwhelming ability. Okay. Trish is at Independent Square. Alright, you see someone <clears throat> battling a monster and rush to help. A monster appears. If you fight and defeat it, you may roll a number of dice equal to its toughness. If you roll a success, you may draw a random ally. If you do not roll any successes, you may draw a unique item. Okay.
Okay, it is a Deep One Hybrid. So let's fight it. <clears throat> um, let's do our will check. Our will is two, minus one. And we failed, so we gotta take one sanity loss. Okay, and then we're gonna fight. We have a fight of three, and I'm gonna use the kerosene, which gives me four. So that's seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we, we defeat it. And then it has one toughness. Uh. All right, so let's see if we can roll a success. We do not. So we just get a unique item. Warding of the yellow sign. Choose a and place this card there. No monsters may appear via gates in this location. Monsters appear... Wow, okay. When you gain this card, choose a location Arkham and place this card there. No monsters may appear via gates in this location. Monsters that appear during encounters in this location may automatically be evaded. Huh, I wonder where a good place to put that would be. Um, why not the graveyard? Okay, Tommy. Uh, a dark uh, shadow falls across and then dissolves. A monster appears. Okay, so Tommy's got to find a monster. Ooh, this thing looks terrible. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, weapon immunity. Okay. <laughs> um, well, let's go ahead and just try to evade it. It has a zero. All right. And we lucked out. So we just evaded it, so... Okay, well that's the end of the turn. So let's do our next our mythos phase here. Oh, I forgot to mention we're going to be using injury and madness cards instead of doing the regular stuff. So there we go. Okay, the graveyard. Well, <laughs> all right. So clue appears at the unvisited aisle. Now a gate will appear at the graveyard, which is Rileith. I'm going to take that clue off. However. No monster will appear, and of course we got to put a doom token on the doom track. Uh, we have no movement. All right, it is called the Halley effect. It is similar to seeing mirages in the desert, but only occurs in urban environments. Entire cities claim to see vast lakes bordering their neighborhoods when they, just the day before there was dry land. Sometimes a mirage recedes as the viewer walks forward. Sometimes it is not. When an investigator moves from one street to another, they may only move in the location of the black arrows. Okay. Well, that's not helpful. Okay. Um, well, that kind of sucks. Okay. <laughs> that is not what I wanted to do. That limits my ability to go places. Wait, but it says, okay, it says uh, they may only move in the direction, locations may be entered normally. Okay. Well, that doesn't suck, man. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is Trish's turn. I'm just going to move Trish one space here. And I'm going to try the uh, tablets here. I have to do a lore check. Uh, but I get a plus one to that. And I passed. Okay. So, uh, okay, so I discard this. I can draw five spells and choose to keep one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Maybe that one. Shriveling. Hmm, that actually might be good. Plague of Locusts, I think I'll take that one. That can help get rid of some monsters. <clears throat> okay. Um, Tommy. Well, he can only move, he's move one, two, three. So he's going to have to just go there. I can get one more movement point because of the map. So I think I will go to the unvisited owl. So let's go there. And Trish, um, well, we're gonna we're gonna try to one, two, three. We're gonna try to go to this gate here. All right physical immunity but good thing we have the gladius of carcosa which is a magical weapon and we don't have to do a will check I get plus four I actually get plus five because my hand is empty all right and I have um, Tom with me so there's another five But then you have that, so that'll be two. So five and two is seven. Five dice. I only need one hit. Okay. Got it. So we beat this thing. And then we're going to just go to the Great Hall of Ciliano. Okay, that is everybody's movement phase. Uh, Trish here, not doing nothing. Tommy is at the Unvisited Isle. Ooh, time and space, a gate and monster appear. Okay, well, that's kind of not what I wanted. We have the Abyss. So he's getting sucked in to the Abyss. Um, let's put a Doom token on the Doom track. <clears throat> Put a monster over there. We have Amigo. Okay. And Ursula, of course, will enter the Great Hall of Siliano. So uh, she will have her encounter. I need a blue or a green. Okay. The way is shut, and more doors close with each passing eon. If there are four or more Elder Sign tokens in play, take this card. Well, there's not. While you have it during upkeep, you must discard a clue token if you have either. Okay, well, I don't, I don't have any of that. So there's that. Okay. All right. Well... Um, let's do our mythos phase. Okay, so we have a gate at the Black Cave. A clue will not appear at Hidge Roadhouse. Let's put a monster on there. Okay. So we have Hex, <clears throat> which I don't think, I think Migo's Circle. So we have no monsters moving. All monsters in the south side streets or locations are returned to the cup. There is none there. And I got a... How many gates is that? Four. Yeah, I got I to gotta put a Doom token on the Doom trap. So let's do that. <clears throat> okay. Alright. And Tommy is now the first player. And he will just be undelayed. Ursula here is undelayed. And Trish. Now she can only move on the black stuff. So we're just going to go one, two, and we're going to go to unnameable and pick up that clue token. That's three movement points. 
Okay, so Tommy is going to have an encounter at the Abyss, and that is red and blue. Okay. A distant drumming can be heard. Strangely gives you a sense of security and protection. Gain one sanity. Okay, well, he's already full up, so... Mm. Ursula is blue and green. Okay. Okay. A row of vaguely humanoid sculptures line your path. As you walk past them, you cannot help but think that some malevolent force is watching you through their stone eyes. Lose one sanity. Okay, so let's lose the sanity. Okay, and Trish, the unnameable. A hideous monster appears. My God, with the freaking monster stuff. Okay, so I gotta pay that dollar. I forgot about that. So let me pay that dollar from the carrot scene. I forgot to freaking do the upkeep on that. So let's do that. All right, so let's see what we got here. We have a child of the goat. Well, I don't know. I might just fight it. Oh yeah. It's treated as a cultist. Well, I can't. Okay, well then, uh, no, I can't. I got to draw a different monster. Because we don't have cultists in this game. I, I drew a cultist. Okay. Okay. Uh, a ghoul. <clears throat> okay, he has the ambush. Yeah. Find him anyways. Alright, so uh, Trish. Let's do a will. Zero. Our will is two. Alright, we got it. And then we're going to fight. And I guess I'll just use kerosene again. That's four. Seven. So it's six. And I killed it, so... And I'll pay a dollar because in case I forget, just to redo the kerosene. Okay. And I think that is the end of the turn. So let's draw a new mythos card. Okay, we have a monster surge. All right, and we have a rumor. Oh my God! And it's the terrible experiment rumor. Oh my God! If you're unfamiliar with this rumor card. Oh. Okay. We have a surge. So the child of Aboth has to come out. <coughs> okay. So that's <coughs> him there. <coughs> and then we have, let's see, it's we have two monsters on the board. And we have four gates. So that would be four monsters coming out in our limit is six. So it's one and then three more we would have to put. Okay. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, it can't appear there. He shouldn't even be in that thing. What am I? Okay. He goes there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see about our movement. I I do have a hex, right? No, he's a circle. This guy moves. He moves. He flies, actually, so he's going to the sky. And he stays there. Okay. 
Okay. When this card is played, place five monsters from the cup on it. Any player may choose to fight one or more of these monsters while in the Miskatonic U streets. During the Arkham Encounters phase. If defeated, they are claimed as monster trophies. These monsters do not move or are not considered to be on the board and do not count against the monster limit. Place a monster on this card at the end of every Mythos phase. If there are no monsters on this card, return it to the box. Each player draws a skill. If there are eight monsters on the card, return it to the box, raise a terror level of 10, and place all the monsters that were on it into play at the Miskatonic University streets. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's some nasty monsters. So I got a Dark Young, a Serpent, a Shagath, a Deep One Hybrid, and a Ghost here. Wow. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it was terrible. I hate that card. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get going. So, Ursula is the first player. Let's move her. Trish, and we still can only move the black ways on the, the arrows, which is not helping, to be honest with you. So I'm just moving her one, two, and then she's going to the science building and gain that clue. Um, and of course, Tommy moves one. Okay, so Ursula will have an encounter. See, I need green and or blue. Come on. No. Yada yeah. Okay. Okay. You find a tiny corner of placidity and remain there for a moment. Gain one sanity and one stamina. Okay. Okay. Trish is at the science building. Okay, you pass a room where a muscular, bored-looking man stands before a pile of groaning, falling men. What about you? He calls you out to you. Can you take a punch? If you allow him to drive his fist into your gut, lose two stamina. If this does not knock you unconscious, take Sir William Britton's ally card. I could take him, but I think next turn I want to fight some monsters, so I'm going to need all the stamina I can. So I'm not going to take him. I know that may be a mistake, but I need <coughs> all the stamina I can. Because I got to kill some monsters in that street location, man. Buy me time. So, yeah. And then Tommy has an encounter. He's red and blue. Okay, wait, wait, that's fine. Um... You suspect you would travel more quickly if you weren't carrying so many things. This card, one item, or you are delayed. Okay. I will discard the food. So I don't want to be delayed. And that is it. Okay, so next Mythos phase. Well, let's go ahead and put a monster on top of the stack here. It's another Dark Young. Great. And let's see what kind of Mythos card we get. That's a rumor, so that's not going to come into play. Another rumor, that's not coming into play. Okay, we have a finally a new environment card. The unnameable, which, alright. Put a thing there, let's put a monster there. And, um, of course, a doom token on the doom track. Okay, we have we probably have some movement. I know I think we do. Yeah, the Migo. He's going to move, and he'll just fly to the sky. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Clue appears at the Black Cave. No, it won't. Investigators who end their movement in the South Side streets may roll a die. On a success, they gain two dollars. On a failure, they lose one. Huh? Uh, that's pretty good. Alright, and Trish. Alright, so Trish is actually going to come here to the Miskatonic University streets and try to kill one of these monsters. 
Um, Tommy is coming out of the abyss. Which one is the abyss? Okay, it's here. Trish is coming out of the Great Hall of Siliano, which is there. Okay, so let's do Trish first. Uh, the first monster is a Dark Young. It is Nightmarish 1 and Physical Resistance. Okay, so I have... Oh my god. Minus one is five. I don't know, man. <clears throat> Ursula needs to fight that thing. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. I change my mind. I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to fight it. I can go anywhere I want to now. As a matter of fact, because of these. Uh, uh, that. That gate thing is done. She has enough clue tokens to seal a gate. So actually, I'm going to use Urs uh, Ursula or Tommy after their turns to go try to fight some monsters. Um, maybe Ursula because she actually has the magical weapons. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna send her one, two, three here, and we're gonna try to get in that gate first. We gotta go against that Yithian. Uh, my will is two minus one. Okay, and I gotta discard my lucky cigarette case, and I'm gonna re-roll that. Okay, got it that time, so I'm not lost in time and space. Now, I will use the kerosene again. Well, I use the elephant gun uh, as plus eight. 8 plus 3 is 11, minus 2 is 9. So I'll get 9 dice. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This guy is a tough, tough one. But I did it. So 1, 2, 3 hits. I defeat him. I will spend $2 to refresh the elephant gun. Okay. And then I will go to... Uh, what is that? You goth, yeah. Okay. Um, Tommy is going to try to seal that gate. It is a minus two. That's fine. Um, okay. Cut it with a six. Wow, okay. So let's spend the clue tokens and let us seal this gate. And that is a hexagon, and I don't think there's any hexagon monsters on the board, is there? Uh, this is it's a circle. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. So that's good. That's one sealed. Ursula is going to try to seal. That one is minus one. And she is successful. So she will spend the clue tokens. And seal Hibbs Roadhouse. And uh, a star? I don't know. I don't have any star guys. So, okay, well, that's that's two gates sealed. And we can send Trish. She's going to try to do the third one. And I think I'm going to send her and them to maybe try to defeat some of these monsters. I want to get him off the board. I want to get her off, off the board, too. So, 
Uh, I mean, I gotta go there, man. We gotta fight some monsters there. And I... Yeah, that's the end of the turn. So, let's put a monster at that location. We have a dimensional shambler here. Three, four, five, six, seven... There's one more monster here, man. We're gonna get screwed. Shit. <sighs> okay, let's draw the Mythos card. I don't know what else to do. Okay, strange sightings. A monster surge occurs, however, no gates open this turn. The first player gains one clue token. Yeah, that's another bad card there. So let's go ahead and move these monsters here before we do a monster. Well, yeah, they, this goes first. So let's go ahead and move these monsters here. So he'll move. Uh, he'll move. There's nobody in the street area. Uh, these two will both move. And now we have to have a monster surge. Which there is three gates on the board. So that's one, two, three, four. And what, two monsters. So put one here, and one here, and one monster goes to the outskirts. Okay. Tommy is up. Okay. Psh, that's going to block. I'm not going to be able to get to the Miskatonic University in time. Oh, this guy never moved. i got to move him, too. Um, what, what's his? His was... black so he goes to the north side yep okay so and I had to put a child of a both here I guess I just pick a gate and I guess I gotta take one of these monsters back off so I'll take him and put him back and then he goes there so we're getting we got problems here this is starting to get bad okay um Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna solve that rumor. There's just unless I can evade the child, which I guess it is possible. What is the dimensional shambler? I could beat him. <sighs> okay. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do, because I have that Plague of Locusts, but she can't use it. Damn it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, what are these guys? Physical immunity. Okay, they're, they're immune to physical shit, so. Okay. So, Tommy is going to evade, and we're going to go to the Miskatonic U Street. So, I'm pretty sure I can do it because I get a plus one. And my speed is... I'm going to sneak there. So, Okay. It's fine. Alright, so, now i got to fight this Dimensional Shambler guy. Okay, Will is three. It's minus two. I failed. Okay. I was one saying. Okay. And not too bad. I want to use my rifle, which is five plus three. My five is eight. Minus two is six. One hit. 
Okay, so I beat the Dimensional Shambler. That's going to be the only monster I, I beat, I fight, because... Actually, it is not. I'm going to fight another monster. I'm going to fight the Dark Young. Okay, so it has Nightmarish 1. <laughs> I have a will of 3. No modifiers. Okay, passed. So I don't take any damage but except for the nightmarish one so that's fine okay now I'm gonna use the petrifying solution this weapon ignores the physical resistance so it gives me a plus eight so Okay, that's three hits. That's enough to kill it. So he killed that one. Uh, I have to discard it, though. Okay, that's that. Okay, so two of those monsters are dead. That bought us a little bit of time. And, and that's basically it with Tommy. Um, Ursula. I want to try to get Ursula there. However... Um, I want her to get, fight this thing. So, I'm going to move her one, two, three. She's going to fight this child of a both here. And has physical immunity as well, but she has a magical weapon. So that's fine. And has overwhelming. Now, um, we have Tom Mountain Murphy with us, so we will not take any of the overwhelming. And we have to discard a clue token, which we have one of. So let's go ahead and do the wheel check first. Okay, we pass. So that's good. Okay. And then the five and three is eight. So we get six dice. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Three hits. So we defeat it. It goes back over next to the thing. We have to discard the clue token. But we got that one out of the way. And he's not a bother anymore on the board. So, that was close. We still have one over here, but that's fine. And then, of course, Trish will stand up. And she's going to have an encounter. And it's a blue and yellow. Okay. Um... You are suddenly plagued by a vision of yourself in a cell at the asylum, hallucinating a journey to another world. Make a luck plus one check. Okay. Got it. All right. Well, we didn't fail, so we're good. Okay. So that is the end of the turn. Let's put another monster on the thing. Now, this idiot. He's magical immunity. So that's just the total opposite. So I have Tommy fight him. Oh, man. Okay, so... Um, I have Tommy fight him. Yeah. That's fine. Um, it's actually, oh, let's go ahead and do our Mythos card. Historical Society. Alright. There. Clue appears at the hospital. No, it won't. Okay, so let's put a Doom token on the Doom track. Jeez. Put a monster on the board. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six monsters on the board. This guy's a bad one. And we have some movement here. So we have there, he's moving here. They're moving here. I think that's it. Yeah. Alright. Unfortunately for them, they released two monsters in the Central Hill streets. Well, no. They're going to go to the outskirts. And we're at our limit for the outskirts now. Okay. And Ursula will go. And I think I'm going to have Ursula... Um, I 
I'm going to move her. We need, we still need to get some more clue tokens. I could send her to the science. She has a gate trophy, right? Yeah, okay. So she's going to go there and have an encounter. And she's going to give her gate trophy up. And she's going to gain two clue tokens. Patricia, move. Tommy is going to fight this uh, warlock guy. And um, let's see here. His will is three, minus one is two. All right, we passed. Minus three, but I have a fight of eight, so six. Okay, good. Uh, six and a five, and we defeat this guy right there. Now he goes back to the box, and I gain two clue tokens for beating him. So, okay, that's fine. And that's that's his turn. So let's just go ahead and do with Trish. She needs a blue and a yellow. All right. The heavy fetid musk of the fungus drives you down towards unconsciousness. You must pass a will or you, minus two check or you're lost in time and space. Okay, that's fine. Well, see, got it there. I'm rolling like a beast these days. Okay, so that's fine. All right, and that's going to be the end of the turn. So let's go ahead and put on a monster here. And this is going to be a fire vampire physical immunity. So we need magic to beat this guy. Okay, that's fine. So I want to do something with Tommy anyway. So Ursula will come and take over there. So well, let's do the mythos phase first. Independent Square. Jeez. Not getting lucky at all. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So, okay. So the outskirts is gone. The terror level goes up. Let's put a doom token on the doom track. We're at seven now. Uh, all the Dark Young in Arkham are returned to the cup. If at least one monster returns to the cup, raise the terror level by one. Okay. See, now, we have a Dark Young here, but I don't know if this... I don't think this counts. They are not considered to be on the board, so... The, no. So, we don't have any Dark Young, so... There we go. We do have movement. Uh, this guy is going to move here. He's going to move there. They'll stay still. And... Okay, this Sean guy is going to move here. I think that's all the monsters. And let's see what this Sean guy does. You were devoured. I think I was just going to try to evade this clown. <laughs> I, think, I think we'll just do that. Yeah, okay. We, we will, we're going to evade him. Okay, <clears throat> so... So Tommy... Now with Tommy, I'm going to move him to the woods. Okay. Um, Ursula, where's she at? Oh yeah, okay. I'm going to move her here. Um, and she's going to try to take out some of these monsters. And then Trish is coming out of Yugoth which is here. Okay, so first Tommy. So he's going to have an encounter at the woods. Okay, if it's not safe to close, close, it's not safe this close to the edge of town. You encounter all monsters currently in the outskirts. We well, don't have any. In the order of your choice, if you can return them. Okay, well, that's, we don't have any monsters in the outskirts. Okay, 
Ursula. All right, so let's see here. Now, actually, I may try to beat this guy. Because she has the makeup kit. Okay, if you fail a horror check against him, you are devoured. Oof. Well, we gotta do it because we gotta beat these these monsters here. So that's fine. So it's minus two. Okay. Well, we got lucky on that. Okay. So fine. Um. All right. So this thing has a minus two, and we have a five, and five, so ten, eight dice against him. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So we just need two hits on him. Okay, we got we got three actually. So we defeat him. Okay, now let's talk about some of these monsters here. The first one is the fire vampire. It has physical immunity. I don't have to do a horror check. <coughs> so I get five and three is eight minus two is six. <coughs> Sorry about that. You can tell I'm getting a little sick. I just need one hit. Got my six right here. That one is dead. Okay. Now the dark young. So let's do a will check. Pass. Okay. So nightmarish one though. I do have to take a sanity loss. So I'll I'll take the sanity loss there. Okay. Uh, physical resistance, but again we have magical weapon. So it's eight. Six. I need a good roll here. Well, I I got it. I can't believe that. I got this one, this one, and this one. It's three hits right off the bat. Six. Uh so we beat him. That's pretty damn good. Okay, the next monster is one of these serpent people. Now this guy is elusive. But I don't think that's going to count uh, while we do this. He has magical resistance. But he only needs one hit. So I think I'm just going to... It's fine. We're going to keep fighting. Um, uh, Will is... Okay. Well, well, well. Pass. Okay. So we're just going to use our... It's magical resistance, so it's only going to cut down to three. But we have a five, and three is eight, minus two is six. Okay, so we just need one hit. Yeah, we got it. So we, we beat him. Okay. The next monster is this Shogoth idiot. Okay. And now, again, physical resistance. But, uh, again, we have a magical weapon. So let's do our will check. Okay, so we kind of screwed that up right there, so we didn't get it. Oh, wait a minute. Damn it, I forgot I have the makeup kit, so I get another die. I'm sorry. Okay, got it that time. All right. So we're, we're fine on that. I still got to lose the sanity, though. Okay. Okay. And now, uh, so it's only three, five, eight, minus one is seven. We need three hits with it. Good God, all right. So I got three hits with that, so he is dead. Okay. And we then we have this guy right here. This guy should be no problem. Okay, so let's do a wheel check. So I get two dice. God damn it, I failed that one. But that's fine. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna roll six dice. I know, there we go, we killed him. And the last monster is actually this ghost here. Um, let's do a wheel check. With the six and I pass. So that's good. And now he has physical immunity, we only need one hit. So that's five, three, eight, minus three is five. One, two, three, four, five. One hit. Come on, one hit. 
Ooh, got it right at the end. Okay, so we have defeated all these monsters. Let's see what it says here. Um, each player draws one skill. Wow, I can't believe it, but I think I worked out really good. So Ursula gets plus one fight. Well, okay, she's she's getting really good now. Trish gets strong will. Okay. And Tommy gets plus one sneak. Okay. And so now Trish is going to try to seal that gate. Okay. I'm going to have to spin a clue. And I got it with the six. Okay. So let's go ahead. Two, three, four, five. Shut this gate down. And that's a circle. Let's seal it. And see, any circle monsters? I thought, yeah, Amigo. So he goes, cup, she gets that. All right, that was a fantastic. And look at all these damn trophies, man. She's going to go grab some clues, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, that was a great turn. We have three gates sealed. Uh, we're on eight on the Doom track, though. Uh, we've cleared the sky and the outskirts. Tommy is one clue away from... I can send him to the science building to get the clues so he can go seal a gate. Ursula can definitely go there and get some clues and seal a gate. Trish is fixing it, or just did seal a gate. So maybe she can go get some more clues. Still have this guy on the board, but eh. Okay, so that's the end of the turn. That rumor is done. Let us go ahead and do our mythos phase. Okay, the witch house. Eh. Clue appears at the black cave. No, it doesn't. So let's put a doom token on the doom track. All right, so we're at eight now. It's not very good. We have one. Okay. See what movement we're going to have. Hex. Do I have a hex? No. Uh, I do have these two diamond guys. They're going to move up here. And that's it. All right. The playhouse downtown has been struggling for months, and the recent run of the infamous The King in Yellow may revitalize it. But at what cost to those who watch it? Investigators in Arkham may immediately spend any amount of sanity up to the current terror level. Or the investigator's current sanity, whichever is lower. For each point of sanity spent, the player gains one clue token. Okay. Uh, well, the terror level's at one. Uh, yeah, so... I don't think I need to do that. <clears throat> okay. Ursula is going to the science building. Uh, Trish just sealed that gate. I'm thinking about her going here, fighting some of these guys, get some of these clue tokens that are left on the board. I haven't been able to put clue tokens out much lately. Um, although, she has that true magic gun. But she needs money too, man. She could go, you know what? She's going to go here. It's going to be a quick turn. One, two, three. She's gonna everybody's gonna trade in some stuff. So uh Ursula is going to trade in how many toughness? Five toughness worth of monsters. One, two, five. She's gonna gain her two clue tokens. Trish has a gate trophy. And she's gonna get two clue tokens. Tommy's got a gate trophy. He's going to get two clue tokens. Okay. And that's it. So, let's go to the next Mythos phase. Okay, we're going to have a Monster Surge. Uh, yeah. So, that means more monsters now and another Child of a Both comes out. Um... Shoot. All right, so we have three, one, two, three, four, five gates on the board. 
we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I have one too many damn monsters on the board. Okay. Well, that means the rat thing would have went to the outskirts. Okay. So. Okay. All right. So we have to raise the terror level up. Can't put any monsters on the board. We put five monsters there, but we did that. All right. So let's have some movement here. Uh, this guy, is, nothing's going to happen, I don't think. Move directly to the incited location in Arkham. Okay, well, I can have him move anywhere. So, I think I'm going to have him... Since he's physical immunity, I think I'm going to have him go to the science building. Because they're all there. As a matter of fact. So, and he has physical immunity. So, we'll do that. Let's see if any other monsters move. No. Okay, so no other monsters move. We do have to put this guy here. Now, in order, he was the last monster to come on the board, as a matter of fact. So, actually, I'm not moving him. He's going to have to go to the outskirts because the child of a both... We're at our monster limit, so that's what I'm going to do. It. He's going to the outskirts, and he's coming out on the witch house. Because the rat thing, yeah, that, yeah, okay. Since that was the last monster to come out, I think it's only fair that he goes, so he's, we're not going to have any movement. Okay. Uh, and investigators who end their movement in the uptown streets may draw two unique items and purchase one, none, or both at their list price, discarding any that are not purchased. Okay. Alright, so now we're back to having two children of a both out. Alright. Okay, Trish is actually going to stay there. Tommy's actually going to move. And he can move four. So I think I'm going to go one, two, three. Four. He's going to the underworld. And that is a wrong type of gate. So, unknown cadet. Do I have that? Oh. Another time. I need to put that there then. Lost Carcosa. Okay. So, he's, he's going to Lost Carcosa. Okay. And Ursula is actually going to stay there as well. So let's Trish is going to spend five and get two more clue tokens. Okay. And then she's going to use the magnifying glass to gain an extra clue token. So there's that. Ursula is going to spend five to gain one more clue token. And she's also going to give, while they're at the same spot, Trish the buck. Okay, so if I play this right, everybody can go seal a gate. And um, we have some gates over here and over there. So everybody can go seal a gate. So that's good. So Tommy is going to have an encounter, blue and yellow. All right, something small screws away from you carrying one of your common items with it. God dog it. Okay, well, he's going to have to take my map. Okay. All right, that's the end of the turn. I just hope I have enough time to do this. So, let's see what we get. Come on, start, start doing gates on some sealed stuff here. Okay, well, <laughs> that is not. All right, so, wow. Okay, the sign, Watley Farm. All right, so we have the Watley Farm here. No, it was Hop Yard or Witch House. Okay. Well, that's not going to help me one freaking bit. Skirts. 
put a doom token on the doom track and we're at nine that was that was bad all right see circle square diamond okay nothing moves during the mythos phase each player who's investigators in a street area must roll a die if the result is one the investigator must move to the street area that is reached by the following white arrow from his current street area the white arrow leads to a vortex or an area with a gate. The investigator stays in his current area instead. Okay. Okay. So Tommy. Stand Tommy up. Okay. Let's start moving some people here. It's Ursula's turn. Uh, she will go one, two, three, four. She's going to another time. So she goes there. Trish. Do this smart here. Okay, with Trish, I am going to. Hmm. Oh, all right. I got lucky. Okay, I'm going to do the plague of locust. Because it doesn't say I can't do it to this. And he is in a street area. So what I'm going to do is cast an exhaust and choose one monster in a street area, return it to the cup. The way he just goes back over there. Return all clue tokens in the neighborhood. Well, that's fine. Um, cost me two sanity. So let's go ahead and pay the two sanity. And our lore is three. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So, got lucky there. We have this. Okay. So he will go... Back. That's my movement. I can't. I can't move. So I'm gonna have to stay there at the science building. But I did get rid of him, and so next turn I can come over here to try to get to the yellow sign. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to shift her sliders to do so, but that's fine. Okay. So Tommy, uh, blue. And yellow. Uh-huh. A horrible shadow falls across you. Roll a die on a one either lose five clue tokens or you are devoured. Well, I'm not rolling a one, I roll a three, so there. Ursula is in another time, which is green and red. Oh, okay. As you try to get your bearings, you bump into a gentleman dressed like a musketeer who begins to angrily berate you in French. You get the impression he's challenging you to a duel. Hmm. Which is better, my fight or my sneak? My fight. I just want to challenge him to a fight. If you accept the challenge, make a fight minus one check. Well, wow, that's fine. I have three, six, minus one is five. Uh, no problem. Uh, if you pass, take the man's weapon. Search the unique deck and take the first weapon you find. Okay. I will do that. Okay, so my my camera messed up. It <laughs> I played a little bit and I <laughs> it just messed up. So let me let me I did a few turns and. I didn't explain what was going on. So, um, I'm backtrack a couple and show you what happened. I think it was three turns. Okay, so, um, she got the alien device. If you remember, uh, she was able to get a unique item. And that's what she got, the alien device. And, um, uh, and it doesn't count against her carrying limit. So, she's pretty strong in magic. So, um, then... Trish had an encounter at the science building. Uh, nothing really happened there. So there's that. Okay. So then the next card I did was this. Which it just moved a bunch of monsters around. A monster surge occurs which raised the terror level up. And I have to close the general store because I'm at three. And Tommy gained a clue token. And then um, basically 
the next card was um, Gardner's Place. So I had to put a gate here for another time at Gardner's Place. So I had to put a Doom token on the Doom Track, which uh, made it 10. So we're at one away from the Ancient One Awakening. However, um, once that got settled, Tommy came out and he was able to seal the Historical Society. So that's four gates sealed. Okay. Then, um, and then uh, Ursula and Trish uh, were in their respective other worlds. Trish went to the Plateau of Lang. She was able, these guys weren't here. Uh, this guy was, she was able to evade him because she has such a high sneak and plus one and move and go into the gate. Okay, so the next turn after that, um, we got lucky. We got this card, which was the Unvisited Isle, which is sealed. So no gates or nothing, and nothing really happened here. We just said Migos had their combat increased. Ursula was able to come out of another time and seal that gate. So that's five gates sealed. Trish is still moving along in the Plateau Lane. I had Tommy just go try to go to the science building, and he's going to go over there and, you know, cash in his gate for some uh, tokens, for some clues, just in case we need it. So we're one gate away from winning, and if this card is either going to determine our game, because she's going to come out of the Plateau of Lang and try to seal that gate, and once we seal that, we've won. However, if this card is a, a new gate or a monster surge, we're, we're screwed because we're one doom token away. Um, and if we have to put the third, wait a minute. Actually, no, if monster surge occurs, we're not screwed because it says if all three are already on the board we have two child of abbas on the board so if we have a monster surge he'll come out on the board but we won't have to put the the uh raise the terror level by two and add a doom token to the doom track so it's just if a new gate opens we're screwed that's it that's all we're depending on so uh it's ursula's turn and ursula is here at independent square and i think I don't know what I want to do with her. Um, she could go try to cash in that gate. But there's a bunch of monsters in the way. And I don't really don't particularly want to fight because she's at four sanity. So um, I am going to send her to Arkham. One, two. And instead of having a counter here, you may recover sanity by... You may either gain one sanity for free. And that's probably what she's going to do because she doesn't have any money. She's just going to gain one sanity for free. So we'll take one sanity off. And that, that's her move. Trish is coming out of the Plateau of Lang. And she's going to try to seal that gate. And Tommy is going here to the science building. And he's going to trade in this to gain two clue tokens. So I have four just in case. And that's it. So it it'll... Um, that's what we're going to do. I've kind of did this out of order because I have to draw a Mythos card. And I just want to show you what my plan was. Because if this card I draw has a new gate, like I said, we, we have to wake up the Ancient One and all this moving is for naught. If this card does not have a new gate, then I can try to seal it. So let's see what we have. Ta Okay, we got lucky. Independent Square. Okay, so it's sealed. So a clue appears at the unnameable. And do we have any monster movement? No. Okay, the Uptown Literary are hosting F. Tyson Neely, British publisher of The King of Yellow at Ye Old Magic Shop. Only the most elite are invited to hear him speak. Investigators in Arkham may immediately make a will 
Minus one check. Any of you pass may pay three dollars to draw spells as if they were receiving magic lessons at the old ye magic shop. Nope, not gonna worry about it. Okay, so uh, everybody's done their move turn except for Trish. The plateau of lane. So and remember for my lore I get a plus one. And I don't need it because I rolled double fives. So we have done this I'll pay my five clue tokens and I will now seal the black cave and that is one two three four five six sealed gates we were one away from this clown to wake up but we have successfully sealed and won this game wow that was close that was really close. Woo. The only thing that really helped me, really, was those crappy... Because I had a couple of them. Were these things right here. Because I had a couple of those, yeah. A couple of these. And the fact that she became... Ursula became so strong... And was able to defeat that rumor card because I honestly I thought when I draw that drew that rumor card I thought this game was done for so. But luckily she had these magical weapons and then she had a, a high fight value, and she was able to overcome the monsters. So wow. But I am sorry about the camera messing up. It is the battery. I wasn't paying attention to it and it just flipped on me. And so you know. Um, but hey, um, I hope you enjoyed it, and like I said before, I hope your holidays are going well. Uh, tomorrow, another game, and it's going to be Eldritch. So, I hope to see you then. Until then, have fun.